bitch off the runway uh, Bitch, I go crazy the dumb way uh, Bitches wanna be me one day Niggas ain't checking me, my brothers with that dumb way What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel So today, I am doing the high school freshman advice you need to know Now, I've graduated in 2016 from high school but I've experienced so much at high school that I just wanted to share with you guys, especially for upcoming freshmen coming from middle school that just need those advice, need somebody to help them get through freshman year as well as get through your whole high school years. Before this video even starts, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified every time that I upload. And yeah, let's begin with the video. <laughs> So before this video even starts, um, my freshman year of high school was a bit iffy. Um, I feel like with your freshman year, it's a learning experience. The advice I give you guys, you guys can take that in, but as well as it's just going to be a learning experience. It depends on your high school, the people you hang around, and your experience throughout your freshman year. So yes, you can take these advices in. I would highly request it, but just know that some or most of your experience is based on your experience not mine when I got into high school um people knew like me from my brother and stuff like that so I did I do have an older brother so he would tell me hey this is how high school is and stuff like that so I did kind of get some type of tips in but like I said this is mostly from my experience and what I received throughout my freshman year so first up I have all my tips on my phone is know where your classes are before the first day of school this is something I wish I knew, okay, because there was days on the first day of school where I'd be like, okay, I think this is the room, and I would walk in, and it was not my class. They'd be like, oh, what's your name? And I would tell them my name, and they're like, you're not on my list. I think you have the wrong class. Go back downstairs and figure it out. It's so embarrassing because you're walking into 20, about 20 kids, and they're just looking at you, and it's like you can literally hear how quiet it is and then you're just completely embarrassed because this is not your class so I would highly request you to I know they have like teacher meetings I don't know if they still have it but they did when I was in high school or they do have the campus open um, days before class actually starts so you're able to go into your high school and to actually look at your schedule and figure it out I'm pretty sure they have staff there as well so if you do need help they're able to help you as well but I would highly request for you to know your classes and know where your classes are because it's really hectic on the first day of school not even gonna lie to you it's you have to get your schedule sometimes you're able to get your schedule before the first day but I remember sometimes on my first days we had to go to like the gym and they had to look us up by our last name and they would give us our schedule the first day and we had to figure it out but we had a time limit because still classes had to start at a certain time so you had to quickly like find your classes and it was so hectic so stressful so i would highly recommend you to know your classes ahead of time if possible the next thing i have is be on your teacher's good side now i'm not telling you to be a teacher's pet because i hate teacher's pets like you don't have to be up your teacher's butt but i would say to be on your teacher's good side because at the end of the day they don't only have to deal with your one class which has 20 plus kids they have seven other classes or six other classes to deal with that have 20 plus kids so if you're one of those kids that are just very quiet not open the teacher is not going to really know who you are and if you for instance like need help with something they're not going to really know it if they don't know you like that so i would highly recommend for the first day of school to let your teacher know hey hi you know before class or even after class talk to the teacher let them know you know hi who i am just so they can remember your face you know um i remember i was like that and it paid off because there were some classes where i was struggling with and my teacher noticed it and they would talk to me before or after class and they'd be like hey if you need help um we can talk about it and we can discuss it to make sure that your grade is where it needs to be so that's basically why i'm telling you to make sure that you're on your teacher's good side because you never know when you're gonna need them at the end of the day because trust me it's going to be times in high school where you're going to need your teacher i promise you you can be the smartest kid ever but you're gonna it's gonna be at least that one class 
that you're going to be struggling with and you're going to like be like dang i should have been on this teacher's good side because you know it's it's needed okay it's needed because they will give you that little boost if they like you they gonna give you that little boost but if they don't know you like that or you're like the class clown or something they're not gonna really care much next thing i have is not everyone's going to be nice to you high school is a different type of ball game i promise when you're a freshman that's literally what people see you as they see you as fresh meat you don't know much about high school so they're gonna treat you like that especially the seniors not even gonna cap when i was a senior i looked at freshmen like that i wasn't a bully i don't bully people but that's how i looked at freshmen i looked them looked at them like fresh meat like dang i remember i was like that or like what like why are they doing all that dang i wish i could you know like you're literally fresh meat you're fresh meat to the seniors um, juniors, you know, they're upcoming seniors, so they're gonna look at you like fresh meat too. Um, some of these freshmen, they know some seniors, like just know that there's gonna be people that's going to be fake to you, and there's gonna be people that's just gonna act like they like you, but just know that you're gonna deal with situations, it's just like life, regular life, you're gonna deal with situations where people are going to act like they like you and they really don't. So just be aware that not everybody's gonna be nice to you, there's gonna be some bullies obviously there's bullies everywhere that are going to test you and it is what it is you just have to understand that high school is not all roses and butterflies sorry and this leads up to my next one this is stand up for yourself um i was a victim of bullying i wasn't bullied i was being bullied but this was like in middle school but it really showed it really toughen my skin up for high school to know that I need to really stand up for myself and that really toughen my skin now till this day like I don't let anybody talk to me crazy I don't I don't let that slide no so just know that you have to have thick skin in high school there's some people that's going to try you just to see if you're able to be tried <laughs> like basically they're going to try you and if you don't pass the test of having thick skin they're gonna continue to bully you so be aware of that stand up for yourself if you don't have the guts to talk to the person how you want to like hey get out my face type of thing talk to a teacher talk to the principal at the end of the day they're gonna look at you like oh you're a little i'm not gonna say the word but you know you're a little child da, da, da. you went to the principal ha 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 so you know at the end of the day they're gonna be on the lookout of watching making sure that you're okay making sure nobody's bullying you but I would for sure say to have thick skin because there's bullies. <laughs> there's going to be bullies. I guarantee you that. The next tip I have is high school isn't like in the movies. Yes. <laughs> um, when I got to high school, I didn't even think. I thought like a little bit of it was going to be like high school musical and stuff like that. I don't know why. But it's most definitely not. Um, you can watch all these little Netflix shows and shows on TV and they might make it seem Oh, I don't know if they really make it seem like that now But before they made it seem like when you wake up and you go to school, you know It's people are singing dancing laughing having a good time No in the morning people you will see people fighting You gonna see girls yelling being ratchet People gonna be tired people are not gonna be in the mood to talk you're not gonna be in the mood to talk you're just gonna be wanting to get to class you want to go back home like it's not all roses and butterflies i promise you that i don't know why they made it like that but it is a movie but like that's not how it is and if your high school is like that kudos to you kudos to you in your high school but that's not how my high school was okay there was fights every morning like when they seen each other on site it was on site they would see each other fights Girls yelling, being a ratchet, eating hot Cheetos in the morning. Y'all know those girls. Eating hot Cheetos 7 in the morning. You know, looking crazy. Um, people just like not in the mood to talk. Saying, I want to go back home. We already planned out our days. Like, hey, I was trying to skip school. Like, that's how it was for us. So, like I said, if your high school is like that, then you got it. But that's not how mine is. My next tip is to get into school activities, like after school activities. I did that and I loved it so much. It made me a social, more social, and it made me more out there. Um, if you don't do like after school activities and just go to school, that's you. 
I'm not forcing you to do anything you don't want to do, but I would highly recommend if you're into cheerleading, uh, basketball, football, um, there was like chess and stuff like that, bowling at my school, we had um, gospel choirs, uh, what else did we have? We had Bible study at my school. Like, out of all those lists that I told you guys, I was in, like, most of those. Like, I was in cheerleading. I was at Bible study. I went to, I was in the gospel choir. Um, what else did I do? What else did I do? I was in, um, this little singing group. What else did I do? I did so much. Like, I'm just trying to remember. But like I said, this was, like, in 2016. So, like, I graduated in 2016, so. But, yeah, I was in a lot. Oh, yeah, and then I did dual enrollment. So, I did a lot of activities because it was so much fun. Like, it made high school ten times better. When you just go to high school, you just go to school just to learn. Yes, you have your friends. We goof around this, that, and the third. But after that, you just go home and then repeat. It's kind of boring. If you have the opportunity to have after-school activities, even in dual enrollment, I was enrolled and we had dual enrollment beginning of um, our classes. So, we would have it for, like, two, three periods. Like, it took about two three periods long and went to a technical school in the morning and yeah and we come back to school and we went through you know because we had enough credits for us to be able to do that um but yeah and then like other stuff like cheerleading was so much fun it just gets you out there so people know who you are if you want to be like popular or you want to be somebody that people know and have a face after school activities is for you i promise you that if you just don't even want to do all that you're just here to get your you know your diploma whatever it is what it is you don't have to do it but if you like i said you want to be have a face at your high school people know you people say hi to you be popular a little bit i would say do after school activities and to have your name and your face out there basically next thing that i have is to make friends um it's kind of self-explanatory making friends you have people that you can hang around, um, people that you can hang around outside of school as well. Making friends is something that I did and I still, even my friends that I have in high school, I still keep in touch with and I'm still friends with them now. Trust me, you're going to have those friends that you're still going to keep in contact with. I'm in college now and I'm still in contact with my high school, some of my high school friends. Um, yeah, I mean, it makes high school ten times better you have people that you can socialize with have fun with when i tell you me and my friends were like literal crackheads in high school we would do everything crazy together in high school and it was so much fun like i still have memories in my phone from high school it was so much fun and they help you you know um you could be struggling with one subject and they might be really good at that subject so they're able to help you as well and i remember like some of my friends got me into some activities like summer activities that I didn't even know of but they were like yeah I'm doing it you should do it and it really helped me in the long run so I would highly recommend to make friends you just never know at the end of the day they can help you a lot yeah next tip that I have is to have a planner I still have a planner in high school I still have a like this board that I have for like a to-do list a planner just helps you schedule out your days of things that you need to do such as homework or studying or if you need to do anything in the long run or anything of that sort it just helps you schedule out your days so just in case you're like oh crap i do have homework you already have it on your planner that you already have set to do so it's not like you going back to school the next day and she's like all right do y'all have the homework done you're like dang like i forgot you wouldn't forget if you had a planner so yeah planners are the best thing for you to get even if you don't want a planner you can just get like a dry erase board in your room and write it down so you can see it visually instead of you know your planner is sitting in a corner somewhere and you're not paying attention to it so yeah if that's the planner is not good for you just get like a dry erase board so that you can um see it visually every day and you can be like oh yeah i do have homework or i do have to study or i have after school stuff to do so, yeah. next tip i have is having a boyfriend or a girlfriend is not a priority oh my gosh Oh my gosh it's not a priority it's not mandatory for you to have a boyfriend or girlfriend if you see somebody else have a boyfriend or girlfriend nine times out of ten they struggling sis okay or boy it's not mandatory I had one boyfriend in high school 
and that was about it it wasn't nothing really special but I really didn't care for a boyfriend like I really did not care for me to have a boyfriend I was actually I knew I would I'm happy I did it because if I was in a relationship that would be a complete distraction having a boyfriend and girlfriend even in real like now as an adult is like another job to handle so just imagine you in high school still a child having a boyfriend or a girlfriend dealing with them trying to make sure that they're okay you know making sure y'all have y'all spend quality time together you know y'all can't even pay for nothing for each other like getting her hair done getting her nails done because he probably don't even got a job y'all are freshmen it's not mandatory like I don't know what like when I went to high school and I'd be like a couple months and I would see my friend in a relationship I'm like huh it's not it's trust me trust me on this please focus just on your grades it's not mandatory don't force nothing that doesn't need to be done everything will happen naturally just focus on yourself focus on your schoolwork you know for, focus on those things and i promise you if you find somebody that you actually like and it actually goes good kudos to you go for it but don't force to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend because you see somebody else have a boyfriend or a girlfriend it's just not gonna work i promise you i promise you i promise you and if it does i will send you a dollar like or a five dollar or something but it's not going to work like I'll send you a hundred dollars how about that <laughs> it's not going to work period I'm sorry next tip that I have is if you need to stay after school for extra credits do so I did it and it worked out there was times where I was ready to go home I was ready to go home in my bed go to sleep because you know high school is very tiring you're there for hours learning doing work you know um where I just wanted to go home and lay down or had stuff to do, but I knew that my grades were more important. So I had to stay after school tired, sleepy, and do extra credit. There are teachers that are going to be willing to give you extra credit, and that's another thing. That's why I say make sure that you that your teacher knows of you. Because if your teachers some teachers be ready to go, okay? Some teachers be some teachers will have like extra work they have to do so they're able to let you do some extra credit in their class while they're doing their own work but some teachers be leaving soon as we leave too so if your teacher don't know of you and you're like hey i just wanted some extra credit and they're ready to go they're gonna be like oh well you should have been doing what you should have been doing but if they know your face and they are able to stay and let you do your extra credit they will let you so it always works in the long run extra credit i always remembered i took every advantage of extra credit to do it and it helped me so much so make sure if you're not doing so good in your class and you need to do some extra credit just let your teacher know don't be shy either do not be shy to ask your teacher because closed mouth do not get bad next tip that i have is and this is the last one don't be known in the bad way in a wrong way what i say about that is being popular is, you can be popular in two different ways. You can be popular in a good way, and you can be popular in a bad way. We always want to be popular in a good way, right? Being popular in a good way is you're a scholar, you're in after school activities, you're nice, you know, you're always, your face is always everywhere, the teachers like you, the staffs like you, you know, the dean likes you, stuff like that. You're that boy or you're that girl. That's being known and popular in a good way. If you're known and popular in a bad way, that's not it, sis. Or boy. You're always fighting. Your grades are bad. The dean is always being called about you. You know, you're always being extra. You're being loud. Everybody, every time people see you, they be like, ugh. That's being known in a bad way. Never want to be known in a bad way. That's just not good for you. Nobody likes you. Nobody's going to want to be around you. It's just going to make your high school worse than what it is. And I hate when people force that type of reaction or that type of personality because it's honestly disgusting. So don't be that boy. Don't be that girl. You want to be like this side. Be known in a good way, not in a bad way. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, 
right, y'all, but that is the end of this video. I hope you guys took in these tips. Please take in these tips. These are really some good tips that I wish I knew before I went to high school my freshman year. Um, and yeah, if you guys like this video, I actually might do a part two for freshmen in college, which might be, it might be more fresher for me because I'm still in college. So if you guys like that, like to see that video, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to do that video, but I really hope this video helped a lot of you guys in freshman or as a freshman. Um, I'm not trying to make you scared or anything like that. High school is not a scary place, I promise you. But just know that in elementary, middle school, high school, college, you have to focus on your work. That's what school is for, for you to have the education that you need to succeed in life. It's not for you to make friends. It's not for you to be Miss Popular. It's not for you to, you know, it's not for those things. It's for you to learn. Just remember that that's what high school is for, for you to learn. Your parents didn't make you go to high school for you to be a class clown. No, they took you to high school so you can have that education that you need to be that successful adult that you need to be later on in life. Okay, so yeah, hope you guys like this video. I for sure want to do a college one because, yeah, I really want to do more college like tip videos because those would be really fun to do. But hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.